what's up guys so we got the update the update is finally out um i did just record this video and uh i may or may not have done something before i did the video and that may or may not have been a bad idea because i recorded this whole video with the screen like over here um without realizing it so then like three minutes in i look over it and i'm like holy crap you're not seeing me at all you're seeing the top right of my screen so uh yeah let's just get back into it so I apologize for the delays in the updates. Uh, the main reason being uh, just had a lot of stuff going on in real life, and I, I overestimated how um, how easy everything was going to be. It was easy. It was just took longer, I guess. It, it, that's really the real answer. It just took longer than I thought it was going to take. And um, I have LASIK eye surgery coming up this weekend. Um, now they say the recovery time on that is pretty uh, is pretty fast, so I'm not expecting to be out too long. But um, if I am feeling good on Friday, the seventeenth, thirteenth, thirteenth. 13th, yeah, 13th. On Friday the 13th, I do plan to do a sort of junk stream, and we'll probably just mess around with, uh, you know, some of the new stuff, the Hunter Scope Moss, or uh, just some chicken stuff and whatnot. We'll, we'll, we'll do some giveaways as well, so we're going to have some giveaways on the junk stream this Friday. If if I'm not feeling good, um, because like I said, I am getting a LASIK eye surgery the day before, um, I'll do it th on Saturday. So it's going to be either one of those two dates. Uh, around 8 p.m., um, you know what, I'm actually going to try to start it a little earlier, just so it's a little bit more European friendly. We'll do like, like we'll do we'll try for like six or seven. I'll upload. I mean, you'll you'll know when I'm streaming. If you're just subscribed to me, it should it should alert you. I think there's a bell thing you can click as well to help out with that. But um, it'll alert you whenever I stream. So just to kind of expect it anywhere from six to eight. We'll see what we can do. I just feel like drinking at six makes me feel like an alcoholic. You know what I mean? Like I don't, I don't like the thought of drinking that early is just oh uh, yeah. So with updates, we have the big rooster, which. Uh, got a buff it got a buff and then it got a nerf and then it got a buff again so it, right now um right now it's kind of bad we want to improve it a little bit more uh, and it, it'll be good again but you do see it is worth it people are chilling here the hunter skill box is released i already made a video on that um and we'll do a little bit of that in a bit when it spawns it spawns every 30 minutes or so so next time that spawns i'll show that off um we got the new prayers they are in raid boxes um so with the uh, raid boxes a lot of people have voiced their opinions on them lately. They think they're overpowered. And I was kind of confused by this because they're $35 in the donator shop, which is really expensive. They're very, they're one of the more expensive items. Um, if you're not considering, like, rapier, it's I think it's the most expensive item other than rapier and cracker. And I thought that that was already too high. I thought that that was a high price, and people wanted it higher. And I was trying to figure out what the problem was because people don't really donate them for them that often. I would say uh, early on when they first came out, that was the main thing to get. And then uh, when we had our big growth, that was also pretty popular. But lately it hasn't been. I think the main reason they're getting in-game is just because of the update where the uh, raid bosses dropped them. I think that's the main reason. And we looked into it, and it turns out mammoths were the main things. So this entire time, people were complaining about how... Um, they were just overpowered, and there was too many in-game, and there really wasn't that many getting donated. They almost all came from Mammoths, so we looked at Mammoths, and they got a pretty big nerf. Um, I know that some people are thinking right now that it's probably too... Oh, we just got a reward egg. Noise. <laughs> Noise. Um, so people are thinking the nerf was a little bit too much, so we're going to revisit it and figure out um, what, how, to, how to make it. We just want, you know, we, we want things to be good. We want things to be perfect. Not too overpowered, but not, not useless, you know, worth doing. Um... And that was honestly where all of the the uh, the raid boxes were coming from. So we adjusted the rates, uh, the the amount of numulite get you get from um, fossils and whatnot. And uh, that's really what we're looking to revisit on the update post. Um, I'm going to leave this in the description below. You can post any feedback. So if you have any thoughts, any suggestions, anything you like, anything you dislike, anything you want to add, uh, post it here, and that'll be the easiest way to to, to get a hold of it. That's really one of the things that we're probably going to have to mess around with it, adjust it, and get things perfect, because honestly, it's going to be, it's just going to be one of those things where it's kind of hard to, it's kind of hard to get perfect, because it requires a lot of people killing mammoths, so if you're one of those people that have, you know, killed a lot of mammoths, and you know the rates, um, definitely reply there with how, you know, your thoughts on it, if you think the nerf was good, or am I not wearing a fucking defender, uh, if you thought the nerf was good, too far, you know, or whatever, so post that information, we definitely want to hear from that. Um, but the new uh, prayers... Why do I keep opening that client? I'm just going to close it because I'm just going to open it every damn time. Um, the new prayers are here. They're in the raid boxes. They have equal weight. And they're also on Vasa. And Vasa got a couple other changes. I don't really want to talk about it too much because it might change the way people do it. And I don't want to do that. So, so I'm not going to talk about it. I like the way it's done now. I want to keep it that way. Anyways, 
uh, it it uh, drops them on its table, and the and the rate is pretty it's pretty high consider you know compared to other things. So uh, if you don't want to try to grind for grind great uh, raid boxes, um, that's the best way to get them. And I, I imagine more people are going to Vasa Mass. That's kind of my hope, is to get people to Vasa Mass. I'm thinking about making Vasa different. Let me let me let me let me get you this idea. So. So we've been talking about solo raids and stuff like that, and at this point, uh, Old School is adding raids 2, and so it's going to be really weird for us to add raids 1 with raids 2 coming out already, so we're going to be already so far behind. So what I'm thinking what we do is we just kind of adjust the way that raids, the raid bosses work, and the raid bosses will be our 1. So what we'll do... And I still have to workshop this idea. If you really like, if you really like the idea, let me know. Comment below or in the forums or whatever. So I'm thinking each boss will give you the same drops it has. They'll all be around the same stats. I'm not going to adjust their stats. The uh, Tecton, Mutadile, and Vespula. Those three. I'm not going to adjust their stats too much. And you'll all every kill you get, you'll be guaranteed to get raid points. So you no matter even if you get a crappy loot, you'll get raid points. And you can, and there'll be a shop where you can buy raid boxes and or the scrolls. There'll be those three items with raid points. So even if you go super dry at Tecton, you you'll stack up the raid points, and it'll be, it's not going to be like a thing where you're gonna you're gonna grind for it specifically, but it's gonna be a nice bonus. So it's gonna be a little slower, and then turning Vasa into a huge boss. Because right now Vasa is our our hardest boss, uh, for sure. I think. I would say Corporal Beast is second, but honestly, I don't think Corporal Beast is that hard. I don't know what second is. Maybe Vorkaf is new. I'm not sure. But we could turn Vasa into, like, a super boss. We could give it, like, 10,000 health. Right now it has 7,000. So we can, like, really improve its stats, making it, like, a really crazy boss. But everyone will get a loot. Every single person who, who kills it will get a loot. So that way it'll actually be worth doing. And I can maybe add in a couple more mechanics to make it feel more like raids. And that would be our first raids. And then whenever Raids 2 comes out, we'll try to, we'll, we'll, we'll honestly just try to get Raids 2, whatever it is. Exactly, that'll be our goal. Because I think at that point, we'll, we'll, we'll have been decent enough as developers, you know, we, I, I feel like I've definitely gotten better since day one. Obviously, you guys are seeing way more crazy things. I mean, we're, we're attempting our Hunter Skill Bus. Even if the Hunter Skill Bus isn't that good, I think, I think just getting it out, was, I'm, pr I'm pretty happy with myself. Even if it isn't that good, honestly, I wish it was better. I wish I was better, but... I'm happy that it's. I'm happy that I attempted it, and it, it, it worked out well enough to where I thought it could be in game. It's a little crazy, but we, we still have to test it much. So this is this is actually going to be the second spawn. Um, its first spawn, it had an issue with it where it attacked everybody, so we removed it. So this is actually only going to be the second spawn. So really, no one knows anything yet. We don't know if it's good. We don't know if it's bad. It's hard to say. And in terms of other updates, you have bug fixes. The uh, ring of nature and coins work. As you can see, here's a picture of the bush. Um, just some other quality of life changes. The Dwarven Rock can no longer kill you. It just puts you um, at one health. So that's actually pretty good. Um, the items kept on death shows five items now. This was actually changed a while back because people didn't PK. And there was no, you know, no one... I didn't think anybody ever would want to PK. And so I made it five items. Should I change this back to three? How do you guys feel about that? I, I was wondering because it, it's... Now that people might want to PK once we get PKing working... Uh, it's going to be a little weird. People might not like that because it's not, you know, it's not normal. So if you have any thoughts on that, let me know. But it, it used to only show three even though you kept five. So now it's more accurate. That's the, the whole point of that. Iron Man, all of those fixes should be perfect. There was an issue with Ultimate Iron Man nulling a lot. That issue should hopefully be fixed. If it, for whatever, if it happens again, let us know immediately so we can work on it. Um, if you're already nulled and you haven't been fixed, you can reply with your name and just make sure you remind me of the problem. Don't just leave your name because I might not know what the hell you're talking about. Um, so make sure you put your full problem in, in that. I'll, I'll get to you as soon as I can. Um, and then you should also be able to de-iron now. There's, there was an issue with Ironman. They couldn't de-iron. Um, I think dual Ironman could, but normal ones can not and um, fix that so they should all be working quickly. And then when you make a new Iron Man, you don't get the duo title anymore. You get solo. Not a big, you know, not a big thing, but it's just a little stuff sometimes. Amethyst bolts got improved. They're actually, um, oh, that's the that's the PVM one. I'll take it though. I'll take it. I'm actually gonna save these for a little opening. I want to do a legit opening. In my opinion, opening videos are so much better when it's legit, and not when it's just like a YouTuber you know is getting paid to do the video. Like 99% of the opening videos are literally just people getting paid for it. 
and there's they're not keeping the items it's not even real it's all just like make-believe and i feel like when i do it on my apuk account that's like the realest it'll ever get it, technically you know because i'm working for it like it, on my legit account i don't spawn i know people like this like joke oh you you, you I, i'm sure you spawn there's no point like if i do that it just ruin it defeats the whole point obviously i could spawn if i want to it's a legit account so i got i gotta work for these reward eggs and honestly this being overpowered was i should have done more of it i honestly should have done more of it before i nerfed it but we'll uh the LZ has been completely moved over to a new location. It's a lot bigger. It should solve all the problems. I don't even have LZ yet, but it's in Miscellanea now, and it has all the same stuff. A couple more Mammoth spawns. Um, I think it has a couple more features. I don't know if they're really worthwhile. Um, also, I don't remember if, it, if I told people. The bonfire at... You can use bonfire at the LZ. You don't have to go to the other one. I don't know if people know that, but you can. Uh, the the bonus points you got from bonds has been increased. Um, people pointed out that the bonuses you really got were not that spectacular. Like for example, when you donated um, when you donated ten dollars, the bonus was only fifty cents. Like that was that, that's technically the bonus. So now that's a bit improved, and that now that's two hundred, which would be two dollars. So it's a lot better now. Um, uh, just fix some other minor things like the delay from Black Salamanders. Um, there was an issue with the Numulite shop where you would um, you would lose your credits but not get the item. That's been fixed. Death starts have been adjusted. Everybody hates that change, but we'll see. We'll see. You know, it's been it's got to get tested. That's all I gotta say. It's got to get tested. But yeah, thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. And uh, the second this freaking I gotta make sure it hasn't spawned. No, the second this Hunter Skill Boss spawns, I'll show you that and then we'll end the video there. Oh, nice. So it has spawned. Fell dip hills. This is a pretty annoying one to get. Oh, no, it's not an annoying one. No, 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 no. Buy the teleport. Nice. I totally remember that. You can buy the teleport from the shop. So to buy it, come over to Eagle's Peak. When it spawns in fell dip hills, buy them over here. Oh, nice. So, and then, I don't know. You go this way right here. North, north and then west. Uh, over here more. So then you'll see some NPCs on the thing. And this is the boss. So let's search the chest. You actually don't have to search the chest in order as long as you... Oh, wait, crap. Nice. Nice! Nice! <laughs> whenever someone else uses... Whenever someone uses a spear on him, he'll change attackers. So that's one thing to know. If you are getting attacked... Or if you see if you see somebody getting attacked and you want to save, you can save them. So uh, people with 10 health can actually do this. It's not that bad. You just have to have a little bit of health. Soloing it is going to be tough, but hopefully the, the loots and everything will be good enough to where people will, uh, people will um, do it. So we got to use spam click for your next piece. Um, the chance is, I believe, 1 in 30. So we're getting kind of unlucky here. But you just keep spamming. There we go. Make the spear. And if you want, you can keep stockpiling, spot, stockpiling spears. Like, that one... See, that one died so quick we didn't even get it. Alright, so it might need its health increased. If there's this many people... Alright, see, that's, you know, that's the good thing. You gotta learn. So it seems like uh, maybe it, ha it needs a little bit more health. Cause... And honestly, it having more health actually benefits you. Because um, every time you use a spear, you get... You get the minerals. You get the currency. Oh, uh, there's a currency if you come to the shop here. So, um, it actually benefits from having more health. So I'll definitely do that. Um, and these are the loots. And every time you use a uh, spear, it gives you more uh, minerals. And that time, obviously, they killed it so quick. I think the thing is, um, people... When the first one happened, everyone like everyone was doing it. So they, they had a bunch of golden spears. Um, they saved up and whatnot. And I don't know if I mentioned that, but there is a golden spear you can loot as well. And looting it is just random. It's a 1 in 300 chance. And um, as long as you're clicking it, you'll have a chance. All three of them have it. So, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. If you have any thoughts on the uh, update or anything at all, let me know.